Hi, I'm Damien Jardin. I'm the designer for the inflatable boards from Nash, and I want to talk to you about some of the features we have on those boards. Goal number one when I was designing those boards was to uh, make them as stiff as possible, because the stiffer the board, the more efficient it is when you paddle, which means that when you paddle, all your energy is going towards pushing you forward rather than deforming the board. To achieve this, uh, there's a few different things. The first thing was to make board that would withstand more pressure. So we made the board with high pressure rating, which means that you can pump them up up to 21 PSI. And when you do that, the board is definitely stiffer. But I found out that this was good, but we wanted to go even further. So we uh, worked with new materials. Um, the fusion material was developed for that. Uh, this is a material that is two layers of PVC infused together. So it's pretty much as stiff as a double layer, except that there's no glue and it's a lot lighter. So you gain stiffness while saving weight at the same time. This was a good improvement and we get boards that are getting really, really stiffer, but then we uh, come up with the double stringer. And double stringer is great because if you look at it like you put the same amount of material, of PVC material on top of the board, and if you have a single stringer, you get to a certain rigidity, but by doing double stringer, the same amount of material, it's the same weight, what you have is like the stiffness from the, the stringer actually spreads to the drop stitch material, and it makes an overall stiffer board because the top skin and the bottom skin extend less thanks to the fact that the stringer actually spread apart on the board. So on our low end boards like the Nalus um, and the Elana 10.6, the double stringer, even though the, the board is a single layer, makes the board that a lot stiffer than it would have been with a single stringer. So it makes it the stiffest boards and single layer that you could ever get. So one feature we have on both the glide boards and the Maliko is we have the hydro slick edges. And what it does is it uh, ensures a very clean water release on the tail of the board which means that the surface tension that's natural in the water cannot do its game of moving up the board along a round uh, rail and instead it's very clean so you have more efficiency because there's less energy wasted for the water to go up and uh, instead all the energy you're giving is pushing you forward. So on, on the Melikos and the glide boards and the uh, Lana uh, 11.6 we have the double density uh, deck pads and the idea for that is that on all of the surface where you're actually uh, climbing up the board or you're on your knees, uh, it's a softer uh, pad. And then where you're standing, it's a, it's a pad that's more grippy. And the way the diamond is cut is that there's a vertical edge to the front, which means that you have the most grip when you're actually pushing. And so every single stroke you give in the water is being translated by pushing the board forward and you have no slippage. The other thing too is like if you're not looking where you're standing, you can feel when you're in the right position on the board because you can feel with your feet that the double density is different right there.